Okay, so we're gonna prove that if A is a rational number that's not zero, and T is an irrational number, then the sum of these two numbers and the product of these two numbers are irrational. So we're gonna do this by contradiction. So proof, we're going to assume that A is a rational number, not zero. And we're gonna assume T is an irrational number. And for the um, contradiction part, we're going to assume, and we're gonna assume that A plus T, right? A plus T is a rational number, right? Okay, so we know that T is equal to A plus T minus A, right? Because A minus A is zero, and then you're left with T, right? T equal to T. Well, we know, we've proven in a previous video that the sum of two um, rational numbers is rational. So we can always write this as a sum. So this is t is equal to a plus t plus negative a. Of course, if a is rational, then negative a is rational. So we have a rational number and we have a rational number and we know the sum of rational numbers is rational. So this implies that t is rational. But we assumed that t was irrational, right? And this is our contradiction, right? So you can't have a be rational and not zero and t be irrational and the sum of those two numbers be rational. It must be the sum of those two numbers must be irrational. So we're gonna do the other one, the, um, the product, right? So um, of course, we're gonna keep these assumptions. We're gonna keep that A is um, rational, not zero, T is irrational, but we're also going to assume now, assume that, um, now assume that AT is rational, right? Okay, so we know that um, T is equal to um, AT, times one over a, right? Because a divided by a is one and then you're just left with t, right? We can write one over a because a is not zero, right? And another thing is one over a, if a is rational and not zero, then one over a is rational and not zero, right? Um, for example, if we had like one over, let's say a was maybe one third, right? then um, this is rational. This is A where it's rational and not zero. And we know that's equal to three over one, which is uh, rational, right? Okay, so we know that one over A is rational when A is rational and not zero. And we assumed that A times T was rational. So we know from a previous problem that the product of two rational numbers, right, is rational. So this implies that T is rational. But remember, we assumed that T was irrational. So this is another contradiction, right? Thus, it must be the case, if A is rational and not zero and T is irrational, then the sum of those two numbers and the product of those numbers is irrational. And that's our proof.